So we are basically looking at a macro that can write corporate bridge, make it as a font of 16, bold it as well as color it in red. So uh, that's what we will do. So let's uh, uh, choose the cell A1. I'll write corporate bridge. I go back to corporate bridge and go to home tab. I color this in red. Uh, font size was 16 and then I must bold it so I'll bold it using the menu command. So that's that's what this this whole macro should ideally do. So I'll go back to my developer tab and uh, as it started there is a stop recording button here as well so I must stop it so that the recording of the macro is stopped completely. Now one very much important thing uh, that you must be aware of is that uh, when you start the recording of the macro anything which goes on the screen as a function typically gets recorded as a part of the macro. So let's say if if you were wandering around here and there probably you know doing some other set of calculations and then you came back to this and probably wrote corporate bridge you know uh, all these instances will also get recorded so we may call these as noises so uh, when you are kind of uh, you know uh, making a macro please ensure that you are uh, you stick to what your core uh, objective is and uh, you know uh, you can definitely remove the noises later but um, uh, uh, sticking it to the core actually helps the purpose and uh, it fastens the process of you know creating a macro so let's now look and uh, see if the macro actually works for us or not so uh, you remember we had uh, defined the shortcut as control and Q so uh, let me uh, see if control Q works in our case so I have selected this cell and I'm typing control Q so Okay, so I, I see that we we have typed corporate bridge but probably the formatting which we wanted uh, 16 font red color and bold unfortunately is not happening here let me let me try it again control Q in this active cell uh, I guess what has happened is probably we have missed a thing and I'm sure that uh, like what we saw in the, in our case uh, if you are trying at your home you'll find that uh, you may also have been prone uh, to this kind of error uh, kind of unknowingly now in order to resolve this I mean since this macro has been recorded and uh, probably it's not functioning in a, in a way it was desired to what we will kind of do is that uh, we look at how exactly this macro actually works so we'll actually go back and look at the anatomy of this macro and probably uh, tweak uh, some things here and there and this will also help us understand uh, probably the procedure that we are going to adopt uh, to kind of you know create our automation uh, codes so let's click here on macros so what I'm trying to do is that since this macro is recording the desired result incorrectly I would like to go and see the source code and probably understand from there what went wrong and if I am able to kind of uh, correct that uh, in the source code itself so that's why in order to access uh, the macros which have been recorded you need to click on macros here or alt f8 is, is the shortcut and uh, you can see that this is the macro which we had recorded uh, if you had the kind of you know 10 macros here you could you would see the names of 10 macros however we have just recorded only one macro so that's why the word automation comes here so you can see there are various uh, options which are available run so you can run your macro from this window as well or control Q which we had defined as the shortcut uh, don't worry about the other set of options the one which I am kind of interested in is the edit so uh, uh, click on edit and uh, you will be taken to uh, a place where uh, probably it looks unfamiliar to, to start with because you know this is uh, something called visual basic for applications basically you know this is the editor which you use to uh, modify the code and write the code so uh, don't worry about you know all these layouts and you know uh, uh, non familiarization of this whole tool uh, at this stage let's let's look at uh, this part because this is what uh, the uh, the macro is all about this is sub automation so think about this as a macro 
and sub essentially means subroutine I mean this is more of a jargon so don't worry about that this is subroutine or a process or an application which you had designed and it also ends ends the subroutine so it starts and it ends now uh, don't worry about um, you know so many things which are really unfamiliar at this stage uh, here we are kind of looking at uh, a problem at hand where um, you know the color coding is not being transferred uh, to the place of the active cell uh, now think about uh, these which are in green as comments and uh, the name is basically automation macro and you you remember the description was formatting the text and keyboard shortcut is control Q so this is just but the information of the macro now let's read through the macro code and kind of understand what what is going on it says active cell dot formula r1 c1 is equal to corporate bridge it, it says nothing but you know since we had uh, selected one of these cells and written corporate bridge it just means that okay we're talking about that active cell then what happens is it says that okay range a1 dot select a1 dot select so let me actually go back to my excel sheet and uh, what the cell is all about this cell is a1 so it essentially says select a1 cell okay I can go back to my source code by pressing alt f11 here or uh, this icon here now so I'm then asking the Excel to actually go to cell a1 now with the selection color this and so on, blah 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 you know there are other activities here uh, with selection not font make it as size 16 which we actually wanted and you know uh, uh, probably this this code looks totally unfamiliar to me uh, but the one which is of interest is basically that I am instructing my macro to actually select a1 as cell now on one side I was expecting the result on the active cell active cell is nothing but the cell on which I am kind of uh, uh, placing the cursor on and you know hoping that this should this is the place where uh, uh, red color and uh, other font activities should happen with uh, the corporate bridge name uh, but the only thing that happens when I execute this command is the word corporate bridge is written and then the remaining activity actually happens in the cell a1 so I'll go back to my visual uh, basic editor and uh, probably you may have figured out that I must not go back to cell a1 I should stick to the active cell dot formula r1 c1 whichever place I have selected with so I'll just go here and delete this range a1 dot select and that's it I am not going to change any other coding I'm just probably you know uh, 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 interfering here and you know stopping this and uh, going back to my Excel and hoping that this macro will work now so I'm, I'll press control Q here and wow so let's see you know uh, if it works across the domain so here you go so you you have actually seen an example where your understanding of the macro was limited but you were able to kind of go back into the visual basic editor and probably understand some code because of its intuitive nature and did some things logically so here the macro actually ran beautifully and uh, congratulations if you were able to kind of uh, run this macro uh, congratulations you, you were able to do that for the first time so we hope to continue and uh, write many such macros in a much more sophisticated and meaningful way uh, please remember the key takeaway from this whole activity was that we are not coders so we will not be looking at coding per se you know we could have actually coded this from scratch but what did we do we actually started by recording a macro we take we took use of uh, Excel automatic coding language and uh, you know it helped us uh, uh, do some specific codes and so and at the end of the day we just looked at the logical uh, codes and manipulated it so that's that's what we are going to do so we are not coders we will just look at the logical code and manipulate it as per our needs so that's how it is uh, going to work in the next set of lectures